The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Edward Shaw. Well, over the last week, we have seen a record number of alerts issued by the National Weather Service in Blacksburg. And now that we're in October, we can look back at September and realize that uh, September was one of the most active months when it comes to weather we've ever had. 53 tornado warnings issued for the month of September, which is the most ever within a month that beating the previous record of 52 from the super outbreak back in April 2011 flash flooding 54 flash flood warnings issued in the month of September, which is the second most behind 103 back in June of 1995. Now, looking ahead as to what we can expect through the course of this week, showers are going to linger today, but will clear out very quickly as we head into tomorrow and later on on Thursday. It will be warm and dried out by the time we get into the weekend. And then later this week, as we head Friday into the weekend, we're going to have a few clouds in the sky, but sunshine will be in the area and we will be warming up pretty significantly, maybe even getting a few areas into the 80s by the time we get to the end of the week. Showers are finally going to exit as we take a look at your national radar you can see the heaviest rain from what was left of Helene merging with that low pressure system that we had finally exiting the region right over Richmond right now and heading further to the east that'll be offshore by the end of the day today could see a lingering morning shower tomorrow just as a result of the moisture within the atmosphere and that we haven't ruled out a pop-up shower or sprinkle Friday and Monday just due to a few cold fronts that are going to make their way through the area Speaking of cold fronts and temperatures, temperatures today going to be about average 73 in Roanoke, 72 in Rocky Mount, 76 in Danville. So we're going to be in the 70s for the most part, maybe a few areas that are in the upper 60s overall. But then as we head throughout the week, we're going to warm up pretty significantly. So 73 today, Richmond's running a little bit below average at 71. But then by the time we get in tomorrow, we're going to heat right back up to about 79, 78 in Richmond, then 79 still on Thursday. And by the time we get to Friday, we could see a few areas start to hit 80 degrees within our region. But after this, if you've been wanting those fall temperatures, the, that fall weather that comes this time of year, you're going to really like what we have on tap for Monday and throughout the rest of the week. So your seven day forecast again, showers exiting today, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder just as a cold front passes through the area and then maybe a little bit of lingering fog tomorrow morning along with that morning shower. And then as we head throughout the week again, you can see we get up to 80 degree temperatures by this weekend. But then look at Monday. I mean, Appy, you know, I'm very glad overall about what we're seeing with some of these fall temperatures later next week. But again, we'll heat up, give us time to dry out, and that goes for each zone. And then we'll drop down to fall-like temperatures by the time we get into next week.